from, I learned a lot about how to tell a story from having those throwaway manuscripts. And by the time the night I sold Insignia, I actually went back to that book number three and I reread it and it sucked. It, it was not a good book. And there was a reason it hadn't sold. And uh, things I thought were original were not original. And uh, there was a reason the whole time that that book had not gotten somewhere. And when I finally, you know, had, I'd had the distance of years and I'd become a better writer over that time. So, you know, everything, everything you do, it ends up serving some sort of purpose in the long run, you know. I love that. It's so inspiring because I think people just don't realize they just need to start. They just need to start. And the fact that you had so much on the back end and you're saying that you're just learning through the process and you learn, you learn to overcome the rejection. Yeah. And that is the biggest thing. The rejection. I mean, it, it like, it really is you not know, first. It's hard. It it's hurts. very hard. Yeah. But the thing is, it's, you know, um, something I started doing over time is I would just send out 20 queries and then get a few rejections and out 20 more queries. And the queries are basically things where you describe the book you're writing, send a writing sample to agents. So I got, once you'd gotten so many, once you've received so many no's, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter anymore. It stops. It stops bothering you at all. And actually that's really good preparation. The fact that it is hard to get published is really good preparation for how a book is received by the public once they read it, once you have been published. Um, I think it's a lot harder for um, someone who who's sold their first, the first book they've ever written and uh, broken in right away. You know, they just wrote something that was a brilliant tome and suddenly everyone li loved it and then they sell it and it gets to the public and then people are like, this is, this is terrible, I hate it. You know, I think it would hurt a lot more getting feedback on something if you haven't had that process of having to you know, harden, you get hardened in a way. Yeah. So, yeah. I love this point in like this, they talk about in personal development communities and stuff like mm -hmm. that, where it's, you're just like Rocky, you just get punched all the time <laughs> and hardened, yeah. you know? And I think that's amazing through your story that you just brought that up because I think a lot of people don't even talk about that. Yeah. And there are uh, times where you just get rejected. The nose yeah. at the nose. Failure is a part of success. That That is a constant about publishing. Yeah. It's like, even once you, once you sell a book, once it gets published, You'll have the rejection of, say, not making the New York Times list, not making a school list, not making a state list, not making, you know, there are tons of different things that your book will not do unless you are, you have struck gold and you're just, you're the Hunger Games. You right. wrote the Hunger Games. May that be different. But, I mean, unless you have, it's like winning the lottery. It's very rare to just get everything rolled out for you. That's not going to happen with vast, vast majority of things. A lot of the time it will just sort of disappear. And it's like if you have already sort of understood the reality of the difficulty of what's ahead, it's yeah. easier. But, you know, even so, I mean, even even with this, like sometimes you can get thrown off anyway. But I just feel it's not as awful as it would be if you just hit it out of the park the first time. Yeah. And so. I'm always. Yeah, that that's so interesting. <laughs> I, I, I always talk about. Uh, what we're doing here at Rock City. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what sticks. Yeah. And you just keep throwing stuff and seeing what happens, you yeah. know? And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But the rejection, it's like, <laughs> what do you say? Hardening you up, punching you in the face. <laughs>I suspect you guys got conned. Um, was it an asteroid? Read the back. Yeah, read, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to tell me the rovers didn't come back? Excellent. Do you want to see these? That's a piece of the shuttle. Really? Yep. From oh. S STS-70. Okay, I'm glad it's not Challenger. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a piece of the Challenger so accident. <laughs> that would be... Oh, my gosh. What if somebody had that? I bet well, sure they do. Yeah, yeah. somebody probably does. Yeah, the shittiest Newton's cradle over there. Do you guys use that for D&D? &D? No. No? It's just for fun. <laughs>